Hello and welcome back everyone. Today we will look back at the 1967 American TV series, Mannix. We will revisit the cast of the TV series and will find out what happened to them. I will also tell you some interesting trivial facts you probably did not know. So let's jump right into it. Mike Connors died at the age of 91 years in 2017 from leukemia. CBS was going to cancel the series after the first season. Lucille Ball used her power and influence to convince them to renew it for another season with the assurance that changes would be made. In the second season, Maddox was changed into a more hard-boiled independent private detective. The changes worked, and the series became a big hit running for eight seasons. Gail Fisher died at the age of 65 years in 2000 from kidney failure. Mike Connors complained that this show was not very good at showing the consequences of violence. He said Joe Maddox would get thrown down a flight of stairs in one scene, and then appear without a scratch in the next. Ward Wood died at the age of 77 years in 2001 from undisclosed causes. This was the last television series to be produced by Lucille Ball's production company, Desilu. Joseph Campanella died at the age of 93 years in 2018 from complications of Parkinson's disease. Mike Connors reprised his role as Maddox on Diagnosis Murder, Season 4, Episode 17, Hardboiled Murder. It was a sequel to Season 7, Episode 4, Little Girl Lost of this show. Pernell Roberts and Julie Adams, who appeared as guest stars in the Mannix episode, also reprised their roles on Diagnosis Murder. Charlie Pickerney was 32 years in 1967 and is 87 years old in 2022. The role of Peggy Fair was intended for Nichelle Nichols, but she was forced to withdraw due to her commitment to Star Trek. <laughs> 